Reddit Martian back with another tip top video for you. R slash ask Reddit. What is the most random NSFW history fact that you didn't learn in school? I read that Victor Hugo slept with so many prostitutes that all the brothels in Paris were closed on the day of his death because they all took the day off to mourn his death. President Warren G. Harding had a six year long affair with a lady named Nan Britton who in her autobiography said that she and Harding had ex in a closet in the White House, and claimed that Harding was the father of her daughter. At the time of its publishing, the book was met with public ridicule and widely discounted as the stuff of pornographic fiction. Britain was labeled a expert and degenerate, and a book was even written to counter her claims about Harding, who was married to another woman. It was confirmed in 2015 through Ancestry DNA testing that the descendants of Harding and Britain were indeed related. That's where the G comes from. The Palatine. Louis is second sister-in-law, who had quite a temper, replied harshly to the king, slapped her son, a prince in public, loved to take shirts in the outdoor. She wrote countless letters saying she hated Versailles because she had a shirt around valets and thus could not enjoy her shirt dropping. There are little peeps carved slash engraved on the pavement in Pompeii that point towards brothels. Those little peeps survived volcanic eruption, as did some NSFW paintings inside the buildings. The brothels having pictures of the different positions you could order. Hello yes I would like a number 3 please. What a city. There was a Victorian exil purity activist who was staunchly anti-masturbation. And surprisingly, descriptions of masturbation in general society at the time were so broad and so couched in euphemism that one day she found out that she'd actually been masturbating for years without knowing that that's what she'd been doing. That the ancient Egyptians believed that the god Atom after creating himself from water created two other gods, Shu and Tefnut, to build the world either by masturbating and spitting his own semen from his mouth or having actual intercourse with his shadow depending on the myth. King Edward V. I really loved prostitutes but found himself hindered by his weight so he had a special chair commissioned to keep at his favorite French brothel. His chair allowed him to have threesomes with the prostitutes while also being able to support his weight since he didn't want to crush his partner, S. Fath Ali Shah Qajar, second king in Qajar dynasty in Iran, about 200 years ago, had 160 wives. Nasiruddin Shah Qajar had about 50. In Islam you're not allowed to marry more than 4 wives at the same time. It is said that Nasiruddin Shah was once walking in his palace and saw a beautiful girl, and asked if he could marry her. Everyone was looking at him weirdly and he asked why. One of his servants said that she was his daughter. Charles I. I. Charles the Impotent was the convergence point for several generations of royal inbreeding and was born with significant disabilities. His parents were desperate for him to produce an heir they implemented a system of ropes and pulleys to lower virgins onto him in hopes he could impregnate one. It didn't work and the dynasty collapsed. The palace of Versailles in France was huge and had numberless people coming in and out. Because of a number of reasons. If people really needed to they would defecate or piss in any corner of the palace and just leave it there. It was also nearby a river of sewage so just coming near the palace reeked. It's not how you would like to imagine Marie Antoinette living. Catherine the Great of Russia was quite fond of eggs. She had multiple lovers, many of them much younger than her. Her last lover, Prince Zubov, was 40 years younger than her. She often raised her lovers to high positions and gave them gifts. She had also L.A. Provos tester of male capacity, who had ex with any potential lovers before they were allowed to spend the night with Catherine. This person was Countess Priscava Bruce, confidant of of her. Catherine had also erotic art and furniture. Legends say that she died while having ex with horse, but this is not actually the case. During the war, the British dropped pictures of Hitler with his peep out in Germany. That Genghis Khan ducked enough of Asia to ensure his bloodline would continue for generations regardless of what peoples live or died. 
fact so many that nearly 0.5% of the world's population are descendants of Genghis Khan. Queen Victoria Love X, as attested by her 9 kids in about 18 years, she loved X but hated pregnancy, she never announced her pregnancies, the newspapers would report that she became ill for an afternoon, then boom. New royal prince or princess, also, any woman who have had painkillers during labor, can thank Queen Victoria, she helped popularize the use of chloroform during birth. Pretty sure they had to write to the Archbishop of Canterbury for permission, as labor is supposed to be painful. Bible. Original Sin. ETC. Lyndon Johnson had a huge peep, which he nicknamed Jumbo. He was famous for pulling it out to assert dominance, or talking to people randomly at the urinals with it out. Personally, I was thrilled they brought up this detail in the crown. Rasputin convinced tons of women to sleep with him using religion, claiming that forgiveness was the highest grace and that unless you sinned, you could not be forgiven, and also had his wife thinking that it was his burden to bear sleeping with all these women. Second comment of mine on this post, but this one honestly deserves its own. Sadoe, one of Japan's most famous murderers, was sent off by her family to become a geisha after being forced at 14, which her parents considered an act of promiscuity. Since Abe was incredibly late in starting her geisha training, most geisha started in very early childhood and already debuted as professionals around the age of 14 slash 15 back then. She was forced into prostitution and contracted syphilis, which is why she officially registered as a prostitute. She briefly worked as a waitress after escaping her brothel, but prostitutes were paid better so she eventually went back into prostitution after being tracked down. Fast forward a few years and Abe was working as an apprentice at a restaurant, where she became actually involved with the owner. The two allegedly enjoyed a private dinner during which each of them rubbed food against their genitalia and fed it to the other. The guy was a womanizer, though, and Abe was very jealous. Shortly before murdering him, she held a knife to the base of his peep and said she should cut it off so he couldn't play with other girls anymore. Later on, she strangled him and cut off his peep and balls which she kept in a small pouch. She had intercourse with the severed genitalia a couple times, both oral and vaginal. She was arrested by the police shortly after, imprisoned for 6 years and then died sometime after 1971. Wait what? Until literally the last word in your comment, I read that entire thing thinking it took place hundreds of years ago. Don't know if this is fact or fiction. But Napoleon allegedly had a huge sweat fetish. Whenever he'd be at war or wherever far away from home, he would write letters to his wife telling her not to bathe until he'd come home. A Moldavian heresiarch in the Middle Ages who founded his little sect on ideals of exile freedom and pretty prescient notions in regards to individualism, also employed a massive harem of fingerers. He did not select his concubines according to external beauty but only cared about the respective length and width of their fingers. In other words, he used his exile servants like a collection of multi-jointed dildos. Reportedly his favorite was a burly lumberjack with broad yet dexterous fingers, which had to regularly be shorn to maintain proper hygiene and appeal. Allow me to weave you the tale of one Carl Emil Petrusson. Who is this man? Well he was born in the late 1800s and was a sturdy Swedish sailed by the turn of the century at the start of the 1900s. Cole was a strapping lad, and this history lesson begins with him in his prime. At the age of about 30 in the year 1904, he shipwrecked on Tabar Island, notable for inhabitants who practiced cannibalism, and instead of being eaten married the king's daughter, became the king and lived a fairly successful life by starting a coconut plantation. To put things into perspective this guy was a tall muscular Swedish sailor famous for his physical strength. This Swedish chad survived a shipwreck, seduced a cannibal princess, became a king, and then started a ducking coconut plantation. Ducking legend. Margaret Howe loved jacking off a dolphin on LSD for NASA. 
Anne Lister of Halifax had diaries filled with her actual encounters with other women in the early 1800s and it was all written in code. An ancestor in the late 1890s was excited to attempt to crack to the code and when he finally did, it was pages and pages of detailed descriptive acts between Anne and other women. He panicked and hid them in a wall at Shibden Hall, the family estate, and they remained there until found in 1933. At that point it was still considered scandalous so they were again kept away until published publicly in 1988. The Mexican artist Diego Rivera cheated on his wife, Frida Kahlo, with their female servants. Kahlo was bisexual, and retaliated by cheating on Rivera with all of their servants, male and female. Florence Nightingale told her nurses to have ex with the military patients. Her reasoning was that it would improve their morale and the guys would probably die soon anyway. The nurses were responsible for STIs being spread around. Abraham Lincoln's mother's diary revealed she was having an affair with a slave. Some theorized Lincoln was actually biracial and he passed for white. Obviously only the first part is fact. The whole history of colonization of Congo by Belgium is NSFL. They used to chop off hands of their slaves if they didn't fill out their daily quota. Men. Women. Children. No exception. Do you know what you are? That's right you're a champ. Thanks for watching. Like and share if you enjoyed don't forget the bell. Subscribe for more videos. See you soon Martians.